Welcome to the NTN Nightly. I'm Nisha Charles. This edition's top stories. St. Lucia's 41st anniversary of independence evoked national pride with the call to regenerate the social fabric. The Ministry of Health quarantines two Chinese nationals in accordance with COVID-19 protocols and consumers to pay less for petroleum products. All that plus the NTN Nouvelle Arqueon. St. Lucia's 41st anniversary of independence was celebrated on the weekend, with thousands of nationals participating in planned activities here, at home and abroad. The celebrations began on Friday, 21st February, with the Best of St. Lucia concert. On Independence Day, Saturday, 22nd February, the military parade and street parade thrilled onlookers. But amidst all the pomp and ceremony was a strong rallying cry by the nation's leader. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney called on St. Lucians to recommit themselves to the development of their country. In his independence address, the Prime Minister said that now is the opportune time for us as a people to develop the skills and mindset that would set apart from the rest of the region. He says it begins with a positive attitude. There is no better time entering into this new decade for us to develop a positive attitude to say from now on that this is our time and we must do this together. If we profess to be truly great, let us demonstrate this every single day in how we treat our island and how we treat each other. Together, let us support the positive development of our young people by attending their games, listening to their music, encourage them and, more importantly, volunteer our time. Together, let's keep St. Lucia clean. Together, let's keep Fair Helen safe. Together, let's keep St. Lucia strong. Together, let us celebrate our heroes and cherish each other's success. Prime Minister Shastney assured that the aim in the long run is to empower all citizens to offer them equal opportunities to realize their potential. He says the gains that we make will be multiplied tenfold if we move together as one nation, united in a common purpose, loving and respecting one another with tolerance and understanding of each other. Should we continue to drive as recklessly as we do? Look how many people especially young people, have been killed in traffic accidents in the last five years. Many of them talented boys and girls. Some victims of recklessness and crass stupidity. Figures for serious traffic accidents are on the increase, causing mayhem and grief for the families and friends of the victims. How many people were killed because of personal differences, and the inability to resolve conflicts peacefully. We have to, and we must, develop the capacity to forgive and walk away. Why are young people choosing the path of gangs? The path to a life of crime and ultimately death. This has to stop. And we will have more highlights of this year's independent celebrations later in the broadcast. In accordance with established protocols and procedures for the management of the COVID-19, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has quarantined two individuals who arrived on island on Saturday, February 22, 2020. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George has informed that two are Chinese nationals. On Saturday, February 22, 2020, authorities were alerted of two Chinese nationals with dual citizenship traveling to St. Lucia via the United Kingdom with a travel history of concern. Upon arrival, they were reviewed by the Port Health team as per protocol. One person is currently placed under isolation at a healthcare facility and the other under quarantine at another site in keeping with public health guidelines. Samples will be sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency today for testing. 
quarantine is used to separate and restrict the movement of persons who are well and may have been exposed to a communicable disease such as COVID-19. This is done to monitor and to see if they develop signs and symptoms over the incubation period of the particular disease. Isolation, however, is used to separate known ill persons who have a communicable disease from those who are healthy. Isolation restricts the movement of ill persons to help stop the spread of certain diseases. Dr. Belmar George says the decision is to ensure public health and safety. To date, there are no coronavirus cases in St. Lucia or the Caribbean region. The Department of Health and Wellness has established systems at key institutions to ensure timely response and management of any issue of public health concern, which include our ports and our healthcare facilities. These systems are functioning and continue to detect and respond to issues of concern which arise. Despite this level of responsiveness, the Department of Health and Wellness, we continue to undertake constant review and strengthening of, of our preparedness plans to manage the threat of the coronavirus disease and other issues of public health concern. As such, in the interim, we continue to advise the public to continue practicing the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of respiratory infection. These include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer, to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing, and to avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing. We also advise the public to seek medical attention and to share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have symptoms suggesting, suggestive of respiratory illness, either during or after travel. As of Sunday, February 23rd, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 78,811 confirmed cases of COVID-19 from China with 2,445 deaths. There are now 1,769 confirmed cases in 28 countries outside China. Meantime, the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, has beefed up its capacity to respond to the COVID-19 threat. Justine Dunkley, Malcolm of CARICOM News Time reports. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, now has the ability to do testing for the novel coronavirus, which the World Health Organization has named COVID-19. The CARFA laboratory is accredited to internationally recognized standards and provides testing services for national laboratories, not for individuals. It takes between 24 and 48 hours from the time CARFA receives a sample to get the results, which are shared electronically with member states. Executive Director of CARFA, Dr. Joy St. John, tells us more. What we have been doing is monitoring the situation very carefully. Mm -hmm. and we, our role is to ensure that we have credible information analyze that information and package it in ways that are tailor-made for the Caribbean Absolutely. so that we give persons credible information and right. we give the health authorities especially their advice on how to make um, the defense against this uh, outbreak an effective one in the Caribbean. We have the capacity to test for the virus Right. We started testing. Um, so I did see that on your social media. I saw that. In the interview, Dr. St. John also explained what the virus was, how it can be transmitted, and debunked a number of myths that have been circulating. She also gave some useful tips that can help to prevent the spread of the virus in the event of an outbreak, but hastened to point out that there were no reported cases in the CARICOM region and that the current risk of an outbreak was low. Immediate past president of the Caribbean community, Honorable Alan Shastney, has presented a case for heightened movement on a number of development initiatives and issues impacting the region. Janelle Norville has more. Prime Minister of St. Lucia and immediate past chairman of CARICOM, Honorable Alan Chastney, highlighted a number of issues that continue to be a priority for the community. 
These include the CARICOM single market and economy, to which the Prime Minister indicated that CARICOM should arrive at some decision so as to demonstrate to the people across the region its determination to make the integration process work for them. The mobilization of funds to tackle the issues of disaster risk financing as a consequence of climate change was also a priority item. On climate change, we must continue to press for the reclassification of SIDS by the OECD, to take into consideration our vulnerability and the adverse implications of current protocols governing debt classification and our access to financing. Moreover, we must redouble our efforts towards the establishment of a dedicated fund for SIDS. Interestingly, it is the ministers of finance from the developed countries who may have found the solution through the introduction of a carbon tax. While I agree that would be a true representation of the cost of carbon, the question is, who should the revenue go to? While the emissions occur at the point of production, the impact is felt globally. We must, as a region, look to establish and advocate for environmental justice so that offenders are appropriately and effectively sanctioned and we who are at the end of it are compensated. With the United Kingdom leaving the European Union at the end of this year, CARICOM has been in ongoing discussions with the UK on an agreement that would govern trade between the Caribbean region post-Brexit and replicate the effects of the CARIFORUM European Union Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA. Prime Minister Shasne explained that this will ensure continuity in the preferential trading relationship and avoid disruption in preferential trade between the CARI Forum states and the United Kingdom. United Kingdom market is important to us as it cu currently absorbs approximately 25% of our total exports to Europe, which comprises bananas, rum, sugar, rice, agro-processed goods and methanol, are am among others. With regard to the services and investment, the UK has provided significant guarantees of access to its markets and CARIFORM is committed to working closely with the UK to ensure that our service providers can take further advantage of this market. The new CARIFORM UK EPA goes into operation from January 2021 and, sends and seems a fair compromise between CARIFORM and the UK, as well as a testament to the commitment and willingness of both sides to do what is best for their economic operations. Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney is succeeded by Prime Minister of Barbados, Honourable Mia Motley, as CARICOM Chair. For the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville. And this is DNTN Nightly. We'll be back in a moment. Standards affect every aspect of our lives. Standards apply to goods and services that we consume every day. A standard is a set of requirements that must be met consistently to ensure that materials, products, processes and services are fit for their purpose. International standards are created and managed by organizations like the International Organization for Standardization, ISO. ISO has developed over 22,000 international standards. The St. Lucia Bureau of Standards is a member of ISO and an affiliate of IEC. SLBS has developed 200 national standards and is in the process of adopting a further 500 standards from ISO IEC as national standards. Standards are important for consumer safety, competitiveness, and trade in goods and services. As a small island developing state, it is essential that St. Lucia has a strong regime of standards to drive growth in productive sectors and ensure ensure the safety of its citizens and visitors. This message is brought to you by the Commonwealth Standards Network. Welcome back. In keeping with changes in international oil prices and government's application of the modified market pass through petroleum pricing mechanism, the retail price of gasoline, diesel, kerosene, LPG 20, 22 and 100 pound cylinders has changed. The price changes take effect from Monday, February 24, 2020. Gasoline decreased from $13.43 to $13.09 per gallon. Kerosene decreased from $8.30 to $7.15 per gallon. Diesel decreased from $13.47 to $12.91 per gallon. 
The 20-pound LPG cylinder decreased from $32.44 to $32.01. The 22-pound cylinder decreased from $35.96 to $35.49. The 100-pound cylinder decreased from $206.01 to $203.89. The next adjustment of the retail price of fuel products will be on Monday, March 16, 2020. And now continued coverage of Independence 41. We bring you highlights of the military parade and street parade, which saw increased participation from the private sector and non-governmental organizations, clubs and community groups. Quite an impressive the, display by the, the police, police band well. doing some fancy drill themselves. Yes. This year it looks like the police band is the other ones who are doing the fancy stuff here for us. Major is performing some fancy footwork at the moment. Well, he's following in my footsteps. I give him a few tips sometimes. Like I say, you gotta pep things up, you know? So oh. he's, he's, he's taken that advice. But it looks easy, Primus, but twirling that mace takes a lot. And we can hear the reaction of the crowd in the background to the movements of the drum major. Pelvic movement, expert pelvic movement there. Uh, Those are military it. movements, <laughs> military <laughs> moves. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to disorient the enemy whilst you attack. <laughs> And stay with the NTN Nightly. Up next is Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Arquil. If you are in receipt of an abnormally high bill, it is highly possible that you have a leak. That leak may not always be visible. Before you contact Wasco, conduct a do-it-yourself test. 1. Record your meter reading. 2. Do not use water for 30 minutes to 1 hour. 3. 
take another meter reading. If the reading changes, you have a leak. Contact a plumber to identify and fix the leak at the earliest. A message brought to you by the Water and Sewage Company Incorporated, WASCO. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle en Creole. Monsieur Nisha, Monsieur Madame, Department, qui responsabilité pour information en gouvernement cette ci GIS, à ce même télévision nationale pays à NTN, Capoceto, Nouvelle à Creole. Capoceto, Primus Hutchinson. Premier ministre honorable Alan Chasney, servi à Dressley pour célébrer l'anniversaire indépendance 2020, pour réfléchir sa paysage accompli depuis l'indépendance, avec progrès et avec vision pour ce qui est venu. Avant ça, je a commencé et puis un grand spectacle des parades militaires qui étaient précoces à se faciliter le sport en la vigie qui connaît plus mais qu'on sable. Et comme des habitudes, plusieurs gangs militaires ont participé à parmi eux les pompiers, ces divers groupes volontaires. Malgré la nécessité, là, ces Français ont été présents, mais pour la première fois, ils ont gagné militaire cette lycée qui a leur mis l'anglais et a formé parades là. Puisque 20 cette lycée qui même leur mis l'anglais et visité le pays pour te célébrer un niveau de cette dans ce pays cette ci Yo et puis l'autre c'est gagné militaire en cette ci te suivi par là devant Premier ministre Chasney et gouverneur général Sir Emmanuel Neville Snack. Orchestre police pays a été aussi présenté un spectacle très excellent qui était porté en pile amusement. Après tout grand spectacle par ordre militaire, Premier ministre Honorable Alan Chasney a adressé plusieurs groupes de l'intérêt en sorte financier après de savoir faire de voyons au déjeuner. Il a servi de thème là, ça fait un bâtiment là pour célébration et dépendance l'année ça là. À présent, c'est là pour nous tous travailler ensemble. Premier ministre Chasney réfléchit à sur la route qui paye cette ici Japon depuis la dépendance. Plusieurs c'est pour qui qui paye à GSP. C'est commencé et puis l'industrie figla qui l'occasionne une grande révolution de économique et sociale dans l'histoire cette ci Premier ministre là fait peuple là changer pour gré qui fait depuis tant ça là pour procurer ces services qui très nécessaires à dans un pays par exemple de l'eau courant téléphone côté 1000 peuples à pays à trouver bénéfice yon qui était available seulement pour ville et village avant avant premier ministre Chasney parlait du progrès en bâtiment grand chemin et pont qui facilite voyage sortir en commune pour l'autre et aussi ouvert chemin pour développer ces terrain qui partait en service avant pour bâtir hôtel, bâtir diverses lésines, diverses facilités pour ces communes, pour santé et programmes sociaux, sport et savant des amusements. Le Premier ministre a déclaré que le gouvernement a agrandi l'opération propre ni pour service avion et bateau. Diverses institutions d'éducation ont un effort pour établir un pays qui peut petit mais qui prospère. À ce autre programme, nous allons continuer et puis adresser le Premier ministre Chasney pour l'observation au niveau de l'indépendance 2020. Il y a une grande quantité de citoyens sortis pour participer à la célébration 41 anniversaire et pas de celle-ci. Commencer puis un grand concert de l'évangile, un spectacle des jeunes garçons et filles, un spectacle de Calypso côté tout ces ma pipi chante Calypso ont participé et plusieurs partons de supporter tout à fait ça dans cette culture là. Il y a ce spectacle là qui a pour tous les années, c'est grand marche au lieu de celle-ci propre jour des observations anniversaires de Badas. Et plusieurs participants font route là, côté des garçons, M. Jason Sayers et Julian Toussaint, bat tout l'autre participant pour faire un pays. Après un grand spectacle, parade militaire et un grand adresse du Premier ministre Chasney, il y a un grand parade national qui a montré divers sa pays qui a produit avec un business, en culture, en diverses communes. Après un autre, il commencé et puis un grand match à sur la tournée sorti la vigie. Ou Vilka Street. Il y a un autre grand spectacle, c'était Gang Bikers, c'est ici, et collègues yo à l'autre pays Caribla qui fait route, c'est moi, c'est ici. Juste pour le ministre Chasney, tu es battu. Il y a un grand festin de vivre la mer, tu es aussi fait un grand établissement de pêche, ça c'est Fisheries Complex, à sa souci. Pour soi, il y a plusieurs qui semblent à Grand Pavilion, à Red Ribbage, pour participer d'un grand bal pour le ministre là, qui était organisé par Madame lui-même. Raquel Chasney. Plusieurs personnalités en divers degrés en société étaient présentes à Guambal en Nouvelle-Sétébanas cette année 2020. 
Là, j'ai eu un autre changement en prix de pétrole et prix à détail pour gasoline, kérosine et gaz pour tout manger. Ça, tout ça, j'ai changé. C'est pour ça que je suis en opération lundi le 24 février. Pour gasoline, on réduit sorti 2 dollars et 4 chlés pour 2 dollars et 3 chlés 8 go par litre et bien 13 dollars et 1 chlés 9 go dessous pour 13 dollars et 4 go dessous par galon. Kaozine réduit sorti 1 dollar et 3 chlés 5 go dessous pour 1 dollar et 2 chlés 4 go dessous par litre et bien 8 dollars et 1 chlés 3 go pour 7 dollars et 3 chlés 9 go dessous par galon. Diesel réduit sorti 2 dollars et 3 chlés 11 go pour 2 dollars et 2 dollars et 3 chlés 6 go par litre et bien 13 dollars et 1 chlés 6 go dessous pour 12 dollars et 3 chlés 9 go dessous par galon. Cylinder 20 livres réduit sorti 32 dollars et 1 chlés 10 go pour 32 dollars et 10 sous par cylinder. Cylinder 20 livres réduit sorti 35 dollars et 4 chlés pour 35 dollars et 10 chlés 10 sous par cylinder. Cylinder 100 livres réduit par 206 dollars et 10 sous pour 203 dollars et 3 chlés 8 go 10 sous par cylinder. L'autre annoncement à ce prix pétrole qui a fait le 16 en mois de mars l'année 2020. Et c'est comme ça. Je vous remercie pour nouvelle nouvelle, monsieur, madame. Je vous remercie autant pour vous regarder, pour vous donner une invitation. Je ne peux pas encore citer, quand vous avez la vie, vous avez besoin de vous autre nouvelle à Coyole. Après ça, vous avez besoin de vous donner Merci, Opel Primus. Et here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. Partly cloudy and hazy, becoming cloudy at times with some scattered showers. The Atlantic High Pressure System will continue to generate light to moderate easterly winds across the Eastern Caribbean during the forecast period. A surface trough will continue to produce some cloudiness and showers over the Lesser Antilles during the next 24 hours. The tide for Castries Harbour was high at 4.25 p.m. and will be low again at 10.42 p.m. The tide for VFOR Bay was high at 5.32 p.m. and will be low again at 12.09 a.m. The sea is moderate to locally rough with waves 5 to 7 feet or 1.5 to 2.1 meters. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to above normal seas. The sun will rise Tuesday at 6.22 a.m. And that brings us to the end of the NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Nisha Charles.